Hello and welcome back to Lord Fan Gaming Plays The Outer Worlds. I'm your host, Lord Fan Plays The Outer Worlds How To Video Guide. We're going to do the Jack of All Trades Trophy Slash Achievement. This is when you kill an enemy with a science weapon during TTD mode with a critical hit on the weak spot. It has to be a weak spot for this to register. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more of the Outer Worlds videos like this. And do not forget to hit the notification bell to update on my content and more. We're going to go through everything on what skills you want, what science weapon you want, and where to find it, and uh, more. And actually, the spot to farm too. First of all, we're going to get to melee. We're only going to do 40 points. Why 40? This will give us access to do uh, critical hits on the weak spots, especially if you're in stealth. Yeah. Unlocks the TTD uh, location on uh, critical hits right there. See, that's what we want is 40. Remember that. I'll uh, flash it on the screen to help people out. Now, stealth, on the other hand, you want to get the full 60. Yeah, more points in stealth, the uh, better it is, which is sneak, really. Yeah, we're going to get 60 in sneak. That's very important. There you go. Last but not least, lead tech, what we're going to do is put much points as we can in the science. Why science? We have a science weapon, and uh, based off of how many points you put in science, the more damage it does. Also, go for equipment too to boost your stealth and science, and it'll help you immensely. And there you go. We respect that. Now, what you're going to do is perks. Now, make another save on this one too, in case you don't want to go with this uh, build. Now, I picked some of the skills right there with TTD mode, pack mule, more weight because we're using a hammer that's heavy. And uh, one more we're going to do is that. Yeah, just pick the skills. And last one, we'll go for the TTD mode. That's right here in the second tier. There's other uh, perks you could do. Just pick the perks I have on the screen here. It's really good. You're asking why you're doing uh, weight. Well, I have a lot of items. But if you don't want to do weight, then pick the others. And one word of final advice before I actually show the science weapon. Go alone. It makes things much easier. Also, you want to make sure you pick certain medicines that will buff up your melee attacks. Helps you immensely. So, we're going to go for the Prismatic Hammer. Now, before I actually show it, this is what the Prismatic Hammer looks like. This is what you want. Also, more uh, points in science, more uh, damage your science weapon does. That's really important, too, so you one-shot foes instantly. Now, next up, you're going to be on the Groundbreaker. Now, if you're looking for this area right here to look like bunks right here, you need to jump up here. It'll take a little bit to uh, get up there, but these boxes are great. So I'm going to try to jump up here. You want to have to kill some enemies on the way uh, to the science weapon. So here's a map right now of it. Right here exactly. See right there? This is where we're going to go for the uh, science weapon. So this way, you know where to uh, get on the uh, groundbreaker. Really easy to get. It's probably one of your first science weapons you do get in the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip the combat and show everybody where the science weapon is at after combat's done. Now, after you clear out the enemies in the room before the science weapon room, we're going to actually go uh, look for the uh, key. It is on a body somewhere here. It's on a worker's body. Now, my advice about clearing this room out is uh, go use stealth to help you out immensely. Otherwise, yeah, you might have a hard time. If you're on supernova difficulty, I advise definitely being stealthy approach. And not use any companions because they die permanently. That is it. Yeah, you should go alone on a supernova difficulty. So the key should be somewhere right about here near the workbench. There is your key. We have got it. So we're going to open this door up. We unlocked it. And the science weapons in the green compartment right here. Yep, prismatic hammer. And uh, we're going to loot it. And there you go. And guess what? We're going to get a tutorial saying science weapon, blah, blah, blah. Of course, you need your uh, science skills, obviously, in order to have much more uh, power in that. So we have gotten the science weapon. Now that I have gotten the science weapon, what we're going to do is uh, get out of here. And we're going to go at this alone. Why alone? Well, I'll tell you why. Companions sometimes mess things up when you do sometimes these certain trophy slash achievements. You definitely want to go alone. Once you're done, we're on the groundbreaker. We're at the hospital. This is where you want to uh, actually uh, go in the uh, video. So what I'm going to do is bust out the map because we're going to assault a person that is asleep. Yeah, once that person is asleep, they're not going to do anything or lying on a bed. They are bait for us. This is it where you want to go. This is the hospital area right here. If you have done worse contact, 
this is where you should go for that too. So we're going to be a little sneaky. We're going to crouch and we're at this room right here. Yeah, there is no restricted area. That's good news. So we'll go over here, look for some way that's laying down. Very important. You want to make a save because this is sometimes hard to do. You miss a crit and you have to go back to a previous save and do this all over again. So we have saved the game right here and now I'm going to set myself up for a run. So we're going to go over here and we're going to get ourselves ready. Once we're ready, we're going to actually go into TTD mode and look for a vital. Yeah, see there's some measurements right there. And you try to do is look for that. Once that hits, then uh, swing your hammer. We're going to do it now. I'll return uh, after the deed is done. Upon killing an enemy with a critical hit on the weak spot with a science weapon via stealth and inside TTD mode, you should earn Jack of All Trades Trophy or Jack of All Trades Achievement. Well, that's it for the Outer Worlds How to Earn Jack of All Trades Trophy Achievement video guide. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day or night.